happy. Hi, my name is Dottie Mackeen. I live in Maynard and have lived here for over 50 years. Um, my husband worked at Digital for over 30 years. We have two kids uh, who are now grown up and I have six grandchildren. Um, so uh, how did you come to live in Maynard? Uh, my husband was one of the very early people who worked for Digital. And he was, when he was in college, he went to college at Northeastern and he was in ROTC. So he was a second lieutenant and he thought that he was going to have a six month time in the Army and then he was going to come back to work. But the Cuban Missile Crisis has happened and they extended his time for two years, sent him to Aberdeen Proving Ground. I grew up in Maryland, which is where Aberdeen Proving Ground is, is located. and. I was working as the secretary to the colonel who was the head of the school, the ordnance school that he was assigned to. And his joke is always he was told to report to his commanding officer, and he did. <laughs> and so after he got out of the service, uh, we were married for about six months before he got out of the service, and then we moved back, lived in Acton very briefly. Uh, he came back to work for digital, and then we moved to where we are now in Maynard. And did you uh, raise your family in Maynard? Like, what was the ups and downs of raising a family in a small town? Well, the nice thing about raising a family, once they got a little bigger, is that it was sort of a walking and a biking town. So it was possible. I stayed home and raised the family for 15 years, and then I went back to work. And it was possible for them to get to their activities. You know, they could bike up to the school, and, and they had all kinds of after-school stuff that they did. My daughter's first job was delivering newspapers when they used to have kids delivering newspapers, and she would go and collect on her roller skates. And she had one old lady who would make her walk up the stairs on her roller skates <laughs> to get the money. Um, so is there anything like a specific to uh, store, restaurant, place in Maynard that... Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I absolutely miss having Woolworth here. Woolworth was wonderful. I never bought the turtles that they sold, but I loved Woolworth. And Paul's Bakery, which was in town for, I don't know, 60 or 70 years, and they have wonderful, wonderful cookies. And their uh, cardamom bread was our Christmas breakfast every morning, and I thought, oh, I'm never going to have it again. But I found a recipe. <laughs> so yeah, I do. I do miss a lot of the things, but but I love some of the new stuff that's coming in. I, I absolutely love the fact that we have our little theater is back. We have a live theater in town. We have lots of art galleries and, and artwork. So yeah, Maynard's good just stuff. Uh, recently been named a cultural district. Yes, I was actually part of working on that. You were? Oh, yes. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, I think it's we started about three years ago, maybe longer than that. I went to a meeting with Sally Boubier, who was one of the select people at that time, and uh, they told us what it was about, and then Elizabeth Milligan, who was the head of the cultural council here in Maynard. Every town in, Maynard, in, in Massachusetts has a cultural council. Um, and she spearheaded it, and the library was involved in talking about all the things we do here at the library, including our book festival, yay! <laughs> um, so I was very excited for the Cultural Council. I think that it'll be a really neat thing to, to have people yeah. know. Maynard has um, an image as, as a mill town and a blue-collar town, and I think a lot of people perhaps don't think that we have all of this new stuff to offer. And so I'm excited that, that that's going to help us get that out. Uh, do you have any funny stories about people around town or anything exciting that's happened here in the past 50 years? Oh, there must be things that have happened in the past 50 years. One of the big, one of the big things was they had the 100-year anniversary of the town, and they're getting ready, and I don't know exactly how many years it is, but four or five years it's going to be the sesquicentennial, and so they're beginning to plan that. But the 100th anniversary was a big deal. And they brought in the Mummers Band. Do you know what the Mummers Band is? I don't. Well, these guys, I think they're based out of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, maybe. But they come in and they've got these big feathered things that they wear. So that was kind of a fun, unusual thing for me. And I have to say, I have walked in more Christmas parades than I ever need to think about. <laughs> Um, I heard that the Christmas parade might not be happening next I heard, year. I heard that, too. Uh, the, the people who had the Rotary Club mm -hmm. had picked it up. It was originally started by um, Phil Bowenicki, yeah. who was Flippo the Clown. <laughs> and then when Phil died, um, the Rotary Club took over. But the Rotary Club doesn't have young members. 
the members were approaching old age, and there weren't very many of them, and they couldn't raise the money, and they didn't have... They always raised the money to do the Christmas parade at the Oktoberfest, and they didn't have Oktoberfest this year. Oh, yeah. So unless somebody picks it up, I think that might not happen. But we had the 50-year 50, 50 one. So... Uh my my question has always been about like Maynard Fest and Oktoberfest. Like, when did that all start? Oh, isn't that an interesting question? I have no idea. It's been going on for ten or twelve years at least, but I have no idea when it started. Yeah, might, might be longer than that. I've always wondered because it's something that I've always liked to do in town. Yeah. yeah, it is kind of a fun thing. The other thing that I love in town is the farmers market. Yes, we become the farmers market. Yes. So I've worked with the farmers market for a number of years. I I, I did their community table, which is kind of you know what that is. I uh, know. <laughs> okay, the community table. We invite nonprofit organizations mm -hmm. to come, and if you will sit and man the table for one week out of the season, then you can have your materials there for every week. And so it's really a nice way to welcome new people to town and let them know all the things that are going on. Yeah. So. Um, so obviously you've lived here for 50 years. You must like it. What do you think distinguishes Maynard from other towns? Well, we lived in a really nice neighborhood. And when we moved into our neighborhood, um, there were no people old enough, no kids old enough to babysit for us. No. And now we're beginning to have some new babies moving and young children moving in. But for a long time, the only time you saw kids in that street was when the grandchildren came to visit. Um, but it's been a really nice community. I love the fact that it's a real town as opposed to just a bedroom community. Mm -hmm. And we are about a mile out of town and we can walk down. I can walk to the library. I can come down and have a cup of tea at Serendipity and... You know, it's just it's just a pleasant, friendly, welcoming town, um, with lots of things to offer. <laughs> well, um, thank you very much for coming in. This was a great talk. Okay, thank you.